practical implementation for the uh, release pipeline uh, hello friends uh, so in this tutorial we will create our release pipeline and uh, when i say release that means uh, we will actually deploy our code to the server and we'll test in the in the test environment so before i begin with this uh, video or this tutorial uh, i uh, am just going to share the build pipelines which i created in the last uh, tutorial if you guys have already seen that yeah this was a build pipeline we have created and this was our project where i just added one uh, dummy controller and then push my code to the repository and then create the build pipeline and add some sort of test cases and have seen that how uh, that build pipeline help us in in a uh, practical scenario so let's uh, jump to the creation of the release pipeline and actually deploying our code which is this one uh, cpu running get my name so when i type uh, the production or envi any environment uh, url i should be able to get the data okay so when i clicked on the release pipeline here you can see we have the multiple uh, options available so which type of deployment you want to do for your application so uh, as i mentioned that i'll be using the azure app service right so to do so first of all we have to create the app service and uh, here's my portal azure portal and click on this app service create an app service so this is not uh, any tricky sort of task just clicking on the resource group subscription and you can name it of your web service maybe web app. so as i said i'll be creating the multiple environment so you can name it a dev you can do uh, name it anything dev uh, env yeah so it is available now it is and you have to select the uh, framework uh, so let me check our framework it is dotnet core but let's check the version which is 2.2.1 .2 okay so just select the 2.1 and this is windows or uh, app service so i'm going to select the app service basic plan so that uh, that means uh, the basic plan i will be using you can create your new plan as well but we are not going to cover this one here just review and create it is just validating click on this create now you have the uh, app service ready um, you should uh, have the app service ready in just a couple of seconds or minutes your de uh, deployment is underway so once you uh, deploy or once you have that app service that means you have the server and this will give you some sort of ip address or, uh, or the server on what you will push your code automatically and uh, this will happen automatically we'll see in a bit so first of all it will let it create the app service yep 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 it is still in progress yep it is created now click on this uh, url that will be your url so this is uh, your uh, uh, dev environment url uh, let's create another app service as i said i'll be creating the two app services click on this add the similar process you have to follow and select your subscription okay, source name web app uh, maybe qa or staging or and then AMB and the docker again uh, the image 2.1 yeah, and the rest of things let it be same away is a create button i cannot see i cannot see i cannot see okay here we are create review and create and after this uh, we'll just have create press the control zero okay now it is trying to create the app service and it will take again a couple of seconds or minutes and uh, this is our application we already know let me just rebuild first of all our application once it gets the build i'll run the application and then we'll see that if it is working fine if it is giving the expected output to us still rebuilding 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 and let's uh, actually the time it gets uh, rebuilt and we have the app service in place let's come here and select this uh, azure app service deployment app so this is a stage one uh, let's just name it dev one you can name it anything so just move this and here's the jobs so first thing you have to tell that which is our subscription this is the a57 which the same which i just used in the uh, here in the app service one after this you have to select the app service name 
so you could see uh, we have uh, QA and dev I guess uh, it has created QA as well so first of all just select this uh, dev one and go to this run on agent and before this one more thing you have to do you add in artifacts so artifacts are basically the your code so uh, DevOps running CP is your project name which we created this is your build pipeline uh, artifacts data click on this add go to your job one task one and this is you can see this is the artifacts we're gonna pick from this location and then uh, in the devops azure app service keep all the other things in a in a default manner now once you have done with this create this or oh, click on the save button so you have the pipeline ready for the dev one oh, sorry heavy now add another environment here which is uh, qa one so the same azure app one and you can name it qa and after this the same steps you have to follow and just check you should have the another api as well with you yep here we are qa one qa one and just copy the url and see whether it is working fine or not copy the url yeah so this is your qa url this is your dev url okay now come back to the release pipeline click on azure subscription click on the select the your app service this time it is the qa one and the other things are as it is yeah, click on the save done go to your uh, release again pipeline and click on this edit so what you have done so far you have created the release pipeline and what you have defined two environments and only you do three environments dev q and staging which is the production one so why the environment uh, uh, we we require i already explained but uh, just to uh, summarize once again so dev means your develop uh, your developer can test any any sort of changes what he has done in the dev environment so once he has satisfied that all the things which uh, which should be working and it is working then he uh, uh, approves and then uh, the request goes to the QA and then uh, same it follows for the staging one so this is the environments you have created now at me let me add a post deployment conditions here this is uh, disabled right now you are enabling so what I'm going to do what I am actually doing I am enabling uh, some sort of uh, uh, restrictions where it says that approval is required from your from your in anything or QA or dev uh, depending on your environment so let me add the myself actually as an approval and again click on the save right so the code will not be deployed further if i do not approve this so you can add for this uh, for the qa and for anything so this is done and the last thing is triggers uh, let me enable this so whenever uh, the user commits anything in the in the code then build pipeline automatically trigger right we have done this we have enabled that continuous integration for the build pipeline similarly for the release pipeline uh, to be enabled it says uh, it says whenever we have anything in the build pipeline that means and whenever any user commits anything i uh, should run this release pipeline so again you have enabled this click on the save button so you have your release pipeline ready now you have to create a release and release is this one the pipeline you just added the dev and the qa so just click on i cannot see this create now i can see control zero now you can see uh we have uh, created our release pipeline and it is all working in the dev environment if i click in the dev environment an agent is ready for the job and it should actually start doing the uh run all sort of tasks which is mentioned here in the release pipeline so, uh, uh, so now we have just one test case or one task that is a default one but you may add a number of tasks according to your need go to this pipeline and see in progress what is happening okay meanwhile it uh opens let's come back here i guess it has really uh rebuilt uh successfully now click on this is express just to run our application at local so first uh we'll run this uh, at local side and we'll expect Unable to connect the web server is open. Just go to the properties. What has happened to this? Go to the debug. Uh, IS Express. All looks fine to me. What happened to you? Maybe no issue. Let's uh, continue to our uh, release pipeline. Oh, I think we have uh done with the release pipeline of the dev environment here you could see the pending approval and the moment we have the pending approval i would like to show you the notification and
the notification is yeah deployment to dev is waiting for approval you can uh, see the notification what i have just got with my registered email so let me just go to this uh, environment first of all and see uh what was that values and the uh, api and the values you must be worried about this url actually this is the api and the control name and when i run this one i should get the desired output so apis and values here we are right this is your live url even if you open this in your machine uh, you should get this uh, cp variani unless if i don't delete the app services which i'm going to do just after the video because it is very costly uh, and this is my test url now if i try and copy the same url see what i get the resource you're looking for has been removed and does not exist the reason behind this it is waiting for the approval that means your dev first of all wants to approve like i'm, I'm the development i see i was expecting the cp variant it is expected it is cp variant i go to my email and click on this approve so the moment i i can actually reject this value so the moment i click on this approve you again see in the release pipeline qsq right so dev build was succeed, uh, succeeded and then uh, i approved this after looking at the functionality hey it is all working fine then i raise for the qa now the same thing qa can do when qa is satisfied we can have another environment which is the staging environment and when the qa is satisfied he can approve the uh, request and then at last it goes to the uh, staging environment so just wait for the qa thing and see what is happening in progress waiting for the console or conditioning job as soon as uh, the build gets triggered we should be able to see the changes in the test environment as well as the cpu training so this is my production uh, this is my development one this is my test one but quickly if i make any changes like let's say new changes by any of the yeah right so i have made any changes uh and click on this changes and new changes made in value controller to test case okay click on this commit sync and push the code excuse me okay so i have uh, pushed the code now the moment i push my code you would see the build pipeline and in the build pipeline it is it is the symbol that means it is automatically triggered so once uh, this build uh, gets the uh, completion then our release pipeline will be triggered automatically and uh, after the dev environment it should uh, this is expected behavior what i'm expecting after the dev environment i should be able to see my latest data here in this url and when i approve this i should be able to see in the qa environment but to uh, see uh, happening this thing you have to again be with me because I cannot help in this it, it takes some time it is on the restore although i can pause the video uh, yeah let me just pause my video for a bit okay i think uh, it is done with its build i have just resumed my video new changes made in value controller now what i wanted you guys to see here we are we have not triggered release build the moment the build was successful the release pipeline uh, the release pipeline automatically triggered and it is now executing for the dev environment okay. let's wait for this to complete in the dev environment let me again pause the video a bit okay i think the build is uh, now release has been uh, has been done to the qa environment let's see yeah pending approval now click on this uh, api url uh, remember this is my dev environment i can see the new changes uh, by any of the developer and if i hit the qa environment i cannot see i should not be able to see the latest changes to this qa environment still thinking still thinking still saying okay let me think meanwhile let's go this uh, pending approval and uh, meanwhile i also got the another notification that says we have new changes and uh, new what happened to this yeah it is just reloaded you can see that we have still the old data so the moment i click on this approve approve and go to the release pipeline once again now you can see 
the build for the QA is in queue. That means it is in progress. Now, the last thing left for this video is just once it gets the deployment here in the QA environment, we should be able to see the latest data in the QA URL as well. Let's see. Again, let me pause. Very nice. So we have the release done successfully for QA and the chef. Let's see. Here we are. So this was the magic actually of the of the CI CD. The moment you uh, your developer completes your code, he just push the code and automatically it, it gets passed with all sort of validations. And uh, once um, all the validations are, are passed or working fine, then it automatically gets to the uh, deployment URL. And uh, they have the we have the environments where the developer can uh, raise the request for the QA once we he satisfied satisfied with his uh, code and then same uh, QA. So before uh, your code goes to the uh, client environment, right? It gets passed from the various environment, and that's due to this you have the uh, less number of uh, 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 you can say the chances that you have the bugs in in the production environment. Although you might have because that's that happens always in production environment, but you can actually minimize those things with this uh, uh, the release pipeline. So thanks, uh, you guys, uh, for your for your time. And if you have any sort of queries, questions, and comments, I would be happy to answer on this. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, thanks.